to show you how to do uh, capturing of windows inside I show you switcher and also demonstrate some stuff you might not be aware of. I was just talking to someone else recently and showed it off. Um, I thought, oh, maybe maybe people don't know. So let me switch to another scene. So I've got just a random window here, uh, website. Let me add that. I'll do that up here. Oh, there it is. Let me add that one. Okay, so by default, the um, capture of that frame will try and take up the whole space. Now I'm going to change this in the future that it doesn't have these silly letterbox things, but the idea will be the same. It's going to take up 100% of the space. Now notice that when I resize this window, that it gets um, the result in iShare Switcher still takes up the same amount of space. And that's cool because it means that you don't have to think about it. So you can A, you can resize that window, so it's still live, to be however big you want. In fact, let me move it to another monitor. It's completely out of a different place now. Oh, let's move me above. Hello. Um, so you just don't have to worry about where that window is. It can be any size. Um, and it's still live. It can have other stuff over the top of it, and that doesn't matter either. So let me, I'll move it back so you can see. Let me grab this other app and put it over the top. You see how that doesn't appear in your presentation. So, you know, it's pretty cool. If you have just something overlapping, just by mistake, it's not going to affect what you either record or you stream. Um, so I thought I would just quickly show you that. That's Window sharing and I show you switcher and you can get to it by this top icon here, add in that window. Uh, and also here you can choose an application window.